All right, here we go. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another wig try on video. How do you know it's a wig try on video? Because I'm coming at you in my beautiful egg form. And also you saw the title and thumbnail. Today I'm doing a lace front try on video. It's been a little while since I've done a lace front video. Um, previously I've done review videos for lace fronts where I just try on one wig and then talk about it. And then that's the end of the video. And that's always felt very kind of dry and boring. It was fun at first and then it was like, eh, this is very repetitive. So I'm kind of done with that. But what I do really enjoy is doing videos where I try on multiple wigs. Uh, you guys tend to enjoy those better as well. Um, and I like this because obviously there's kind of more meat to that kind of video. And when it comes to the actual wig store it gives you a better idea of what the quality of the products are like because you're trying multiple ones and overall it's just way more fun to try on multiple wigs and multiple looks today basically to cut to the chase i'm going to be trying on not one not two but three lace front wigs from eva hair which they were very very kind to send me on multiple wigs i have collaborated with them in the past if you guys saw my ash cosplay my wig was from them and i did do a full video um, about that wig on my channel they reached out and wanted to collaborate again which i really appreciate so they have sent me three gorgeous lace front wigs uh, to try out for you guys today. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited. This is my first time ever trying multiple lace fronts on in one video. Previous to that, I've just done regular wigs. Lace fronts are kind of the fancy big boy wigs. So I'm very excited to get to try on a whole bunch of them in one video. Quick disclaimer, as always, uh, the wigs that you'll be seeing were given to me free of charge for the purpose of doing this video for you guys. But as usual, I'm always going to be completely honest about how I feel about a given product or service. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. All their wigs come in this proper box. Two of these wigs are blonde wigs and one of them is an orange wig or a red wig, whatever you prefer to call them. So we're going to start with our first blonde wig. And all of their wigs, it looks like comes with a uh, deluxe wig cap. So um, pretty standard. Love that. I have one long blonde wig and one short blonde wig that I requested. So this is going to be the short one. I thought that this would be nice for um, Lolita looks since I've gotten into doing Lolita. Um, I do when it comes to kind of fashion wigs or wigs that I use for like filming. I prefer to go with short wigs and blonde wigs since I am blonde. I like to stick with blonde wigs because it just feels more like natural. <laughs> to me, I guess. And I prefer to go with um, shorter wigs just because they're much easier to maintain. And I do tend to like how they look um, better. I have long hair, so you know, I know what I look like with long hair all the time, but short hair is kind of more of a treat. So that's kind of what I went with for this one. Taking a look at it, the lace looks awesome. We have this very nice, very natural front here. Uh, let's see how much we get a really nice amount of lace um, and then it has some wig clips so we have two at the front here and then one towards the back to help anchor it awesome all things that i would expect um looks nice and thick the only thing is with this hair here when this kind of naturally falls forward you do see the netting a little bit there we'll see how that looks when i actually try it on but overall it looks really nice it's very soft feels very full feels very beautiful and it holds up really nicely under the light has a nice kind of natural sort of sheen to it feels very nice i love it she feels fluffy she feels beautiful so i'll just go ahead and i, I brought scissors i'm i'm ready uh, i'm gonna just trim trim the lace and then we'll uh, we'll try her on Ooh, hello Hello there. All right. It does hit all the points that I typically look for. It's a nice color. It fits really well. The wig cap is nice and big. It's holding my hair really nicely. It's just, it's, it's such a fun style. The lace looks good. Everything, everything looks up to standard. Yeah, I think this will be really nice for Lolita stuff, especially playing around with like putting various hair accessories into it. Nice. All right, we're off to a good start. Let's move on to the next one. Opening these boxes is just, so satisfying, I love it. <laughs> All right, so just to kind of take a break from the blonde stuff, I'm gonna try on this gorgeous looking uh, orange wig. Ooh, she's beautiful, let's see. Um, so this wig is actually from my roommate, Lucy. She's gonna be cosplaying Aloy. And so she requested this wig for that cosplay. And I think uh, from what I can see her off the bat, it's gonna be a gorgeous choice. This has a really nice mix of colors to it. It's very fiery and I love it. All right, so let's take a look at her. Um, this has, Wow, I love it. Um, it has this nice kind of mix of oranges. So it has like a really fiery red, um, a lighter kind of orange, and then a mid-level um, orange, it looks like. And then at the front, we have a little widow's peak, which is awesome. That helps with things looking more natural and kind of 
It's a very kind of bold wig, so I think that's gonna help with the intense look that this wig gives off. I'm just gonna go right ahead and clip the lace. All right, here we go. So she is very intense. I feel like it, it, it works better for like a fantasy character or like a superhero because it looks less like kind of a natural orange and more of like a, a, a fantasy, like very fiery orange. I didn't actually look at the lace. The lace actually ends here. So all of this, all of this is lace. Um, underneath. That's like two inches of lace, I think. This is definitely a very versatile wig. Like it, it has a really nice color combination. It has, like I said, a crap ton of lace in it. Um, the widow's peak looks very nice, helps with that kind of intensity. It's beautiful and it's just very full. There's so much hair. And it's a very nice um, curly style. I think this is a very nice wig and has a lot of potential, especially if you're doing like comic book cosplays. There are so many redhead characters that this would work for. And again, it has that really nice kind of intensity to it. I love it. This is really, really nice. So that brings us to our final wig, which I'm very, very excited about because I have big plans for it. So like I said, this one is another blonde one. She does look to be a little bit shiny, but maybe that's just me. Unlike our previous blonde wig, this is a super, super long blonde wig. And I actually requested this one with the intention of using it as a new Charlie wig. She just so happens to also be on my shirt right now. What I noticed um, from the product image is that it has this nice combination of brown blonde and light blonde, which is a combination that her hair has. And my current wig doesn't have that. So I wanted to uh, try to see if I could find a wig that, that would emulate that basically. So this, this is the one that I chose. So you can see it has like, there's some lighter blonde and then there's some of that kind of darker blonde. There is so much hair in this wig. The curls are absolutely gorgeous, like curls for days. I love it. Um, and then just like the one that I'm wearing right now, it also has a bunch of lace. So that's gonna be really awesome, especially since um, one part of why I wanted to get a lace front for her was that I can do kind of more of that like dramatic hair swoosh, but not have to worry about my, my wig cap showing through. This I'll have a lot to work with um, just because of how much lace there is. I can part it you know, a whole bunch of different ways and really play around with it and not have to worry about my hair showing through. Let's put it on, I'm excited. Hello, there's so much hair. <laughs> So right off the bat, it does look very, very shiny, which I am not used to and was not expecting. I do wish it was more on the matte side. Just like the last one, it has so much hair, so, so many curls and just a lot of volume. So that's a really strong point. I do kind of wish like in the product image, the contrast, like the variance between the light blonde and the dark blonde was kind of more of like, more of streaks, which was kind of what I wanted. I think it'll still look all right with the cosplay, but I do kind of wish that the two colors were kind of more obvious towards the top. I think for my purposes, for what I'm using this for, I would probably comb out the curls a little bit more just to kind of integrate them together. Cause right now they're kind of like a bunch of little curls and I would want to kind of integrate them more and make them kind of larger, bigger curls. Um, but that's really not an issue. That's something I'm totally happy to do. I do like that it has a little widow's peak to kind of help with the natural look of it. And I really like how big of a flip you can do. The only thing that's bothering me is just how shiny it is. And maybe combing it out will help. Can also like dust powder on it. But obviously when you're spending this much on a wig, their wigs do go for around $100. You don't wanna have to put in that extra effort. Um, so I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Does it look more of like a healthy hair shine or is it, does it look like an artificial like wiggy? wiggy shine. I'm definitely excited to try it out with my cosplay, see how it looks. You know, I'll have a couple weeks to kind of play around with, so that will be very helpful and we'll see. We'll see. It is very dramatic though. I'm getting like old Hollywood vibes, which I'm definitely not mad about. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me just hang out and be awkward while putting on very glamorous wigs that are way more, way more glamorous than I am. <laughs> Local potato tries on expensive wigs. <laughs> If you guys are interested in checking out Eva Hair for yourselves, I'll have links down in the description to their website as well as direct links to these particular wigs. Thank you to Eva Hair for the gorgeous wigs. Really appreciate it. Love getting lace fronts. They're just, they're so much fun and you can do so much with them and it just, it helps me feel so much more glamorous than I actually am. Oh, <sighs> case in point. Uh, thank you guys for so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys all next time. If I can get the hair out of my eyes so I can actually see. I will see you guys all next time. Until then, pen faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.